The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the Smart Autocomplete add-on that is available in Oxygen XML Editor. It contributes a side view that has functionality to help writers by offering text completion proposals. In the past few years, there has been a surge in the use of artificial intelligence within software development tools. For example, GitHub and OpenAI joined forces to create a software developer assistant for popular programming languages such as Java, JavaScript, and Python, and they named it GitHub Copilot. The purpose is that once you type the name of a method or function, the AI will understand the meaning of it and will generate code. This inspired the developers of Oxygen XML Editor to create a smart autocomplete add-on that uses AI to help writers create content by providing text completion functionality. The functionality of the add-on was implemented through two methods. The first method, called the built-in engine, uses a search and scoring algorithm over the text content from your project files. This method does not require an AI model, it is fast, and the data is stored locally on your PC. It very strictly matches content that you have typed with possible subsequent content. Its limitation is that it doesn't have a way to consider synonyms or the semantic equivalence of text. The second method uses an open AI model. The advantages are that it understands the context and the semantics of the text you type and can generate completions that fit well, although you do need to double check them because it's not always factually correct. The text that you type is sent to the OpenAI server, so you should not use this engine if you're editing content that has restricted access. OpenAI GPT-3 is the largest commercial AI model available to integrators. It contains about 175 billion weights, and it was trained on a huge corpus of text. Similar to other encoder-decoder language models, the training was done by hiding some words from the input and asking the model to guess the missing word. The resulting language model was able to find semantic connections between words, in some way understanding the meaning of the text, and it's capable of doing more than it was trained to do initially, for example, responding to questions. So we identified a series of use cases where a tool based on GPT-3 would be valuable in relation to content. Help with creating content, such as text completion, automatic markup, keyword extraction, paraphrasing, summarization, or translation. Help with consuming content, such as chatbots or semantic searches. And for the non-technical domain, it is useful for brainstorming ideas, marketing, copywriting, creating ads, or improving the tone. As far as some limitations, currently the language models cannot be used as a source of truth. They are probabilistic engines. They have a window of text that they look at, usually about a few hundred words, so they can completely miss key facts from the start of your document, for example. So, in terms of the Oxygen Smart Autocomplete add-on, first you need to install it. So, I'll go to Help, Install New Add-ons, and I'll choose the default update site, and the add-on is named Smart Autocomplete. After completing the wizard, I need to restart Oxygen. And I can open the newly contributed side view by going to Window, Show View, and Smart Autocomplete. And now I'll show you some examples of how it works. First, I'll show you the built-in engine. Note that I'm using a very small project from the Oxygen Samples folder. And note that the quality of the completions increase with the size of the text content. Before starting to use it, I need to click the Re-Index Project button. And I'll start typing some text, and if I pause after entering a space, you see that it tries to complete the text. I'll continue, and remember that you need to double check the content it inserts to make sure that it's accurate. Here is an example of adding something I didn't want, so I deleted that part. 
I'll add one more list item. And this was just a very short demonstration of how the built-in engine works. Now I'll show you some of the helpful things that you can do with the OpenAI engine. First, you need to go to the OpenAI website where you will copy an API key. And here you go to your account drop-down menu and select View API Keys. And then click this Copy link. Then back in Oxygen, I'll switch to the OpenAI engine and I'll paste the copied key into the API key text field. Now I'll switch to the model tab. And you see that there's a lot of models to choose from. I'll leave it on the default text DaVinci 001 model. And in another sample document, I start typing content that could be an ordered list of instructions. I'll select that content and I'll click the ordered list button and you see that it automatically converted the content into an ordered list. Now I'll select some text and use the inlines button and you see that it automatically inserts inline markup where it detects that it would be appropriate. For example, did a UI control or file path elements. In the next sample, I have three identical sentences and I'll use the paraphrase button on each of them. And you see that it generated three different proposals. Maybe a copywriter would want to choose which one they want to keep. Then I'll select another paragraph and I use the commercial add button and it converted the text into more of a marketing style. This next sample has a lot of text and I can use the summarize button to condense it into a summation. I can also translate it into French. As far as the roadmap going forward, the OpenAI implementation of the Smart Autocomplete add-on is currently in an experimental phase since the OpenAI platform is still in beta, but we are committed to exploring the use of AI as a tool for technical content creation and content usage, so you will see the add-on continue to be improved and new AI features will be added to our products. Thank you for watching this introductory video and please give us feedback on our support channels.